Good morning and welcome back. It is 616. Time now for house calls. And this morning we're talking about the importance of having your colorectal cancer screenings. Get your colonoscopies done. Dr. Shauna Lorenzo is here. And we got a couple things to talk about with Dr. Shauna Lorenzo. Good morning. Welcome Good morning. Back. Thank Happy you. to have you here with us. Um, you, of course, very busy practice with University Surgical Associates, but you're also a very important key player in the Greater Chattanooga Colon Cancer Foundation. Yes, sir. How significant is that problem right here in the Tennessee Valley? Well, actually, it's a very big deal because in the entire United States, in general, the South has always had the lowest amount of screening, which is getting your colonoscopy. And if right. you don't check, you can't find the cancer. And we're finding more and more people when they present, they're presenting with what's called stage 4 disease which is the most advanced disease and it's technically incurable it's treatable but not curable so wow. the whole point is to get your colonoscopy so that you can catch the polyp before it turns into a cancer and as you were telling me during the break that's one of the uh, I don't know what the word is ironies maybe colon cancer is so easily detectable and it is fairly easily treatable Correct? Absolutely. Um, the percentages here are obviously higher because of the reasons that you stated. Mm -hmm. um, what are you guys doing with the Colon Cancer Foundation to turn those numbers around a little bit? Well, the Colon Cancer Foundation has now been in existence for five years, mm -hmm. and we do two things. The first thing we want to do is educate the public, and right. you are helping us with that because we have raised enough money through our rump run, which mm -hmm. will be coming up in March, uh, to do what I call the Blue Billboard Campaign. So you'll be seeing blue billboards around town with local celebrities like yourself right. urging people to get their colonoscopy, and the age is over the age of 50. So 50 is the first year you get your colonoscopy unless you have colon cancer in your family. How often should you have it done after that initial screening? Excellent question. So if you don't have polyps or cancer in your family, you get your colonoscopy every 10 years. Mm -hmm. If you did have polyps or there is someone in your family who's, who has polyps or cancer, it's every five years. All right. So the, the, the blue billboard campaign begins when? Actually, our first billboard goes up this month of February. Mm -hmm. That's to alert people that the rump run is coming up. Right. March 21st, 9 a.m. All right. Tell us a little bit about that. How many years is yeah. a rump run? Actually, five years. So we so, began as get your rearing gear. Right. But the problem was that was a national campaign, and we want 100% of our proceeds to stay here in Chattanooga. Good, good. So we changed our name, and our money stays here in Chattanooga. And last year was the first year we raised enough funds to actually provide colonoscopy for those who couldn't afford it. Wow, that's incredible. Certainly a, a, a keystone moment. The rump run itself is coming up on March 21st. I can promise you. I can promise you the weather will be better on March 21st. It's going to hold you to that. On February 21st. <laughs> it's going on at Enterprise South Park. How do folks get involved with this? How do they... Um... It's actually very easy. Mm -hmm. So if you go to rumprun.com, there are different ways to do that. So you can run, which would be a 5K. Right. You can walk, which would be a one-mile fun walk. That's a great one to bring the kids because mm -hmm. any child who crosses that finish line gets a medal over their head. <laughs> they love that part. And then the other ways you can certainly volunteer. Here. We have parking, we have registration, we need lots of volunteers. And the best part, I think, about the run is you get to, as a survivor, you're free. Mm -hmm. And they're all in blue t shirts, and you can see how many people have made it through the process of being cured. Wow. And that number, thanks to the good work that, you're, that you do day in and day out, and to the good work that the uh, Colon Cancer Foundation does, hopefully that number will just keep getting bigger and right, bigger. Get your colonoscopy so we don't have to have survivors. Aside from that, what's the one takeaway message you want the viewers to have about what the foundation does and about the treatability of colon cancer? Most important thing, colon cancer is treatable, it's beatable, and it is preventable. Get your colonoscopy at the age of 50. And Tell everyone you know. Don't do what I did. I waited until I was a little beyond that 50-year <laughs> mark. But hey, I got it, and I and go back and Telling folks. I am. It, it is very important, and all of us know someone who has been affected by colon cancer. It may not be in your immediate family, but you look two or three houses down the street, and one of those folks has got it. Yeah. You're wonderful. We will see you back here prior to the rump run. Sure hope so. If you would like to get involved with the rump run, as Dr. Shauna talked about, you can check out the website. It is rumprun.com. Saturday, March 21st. The website again, rumprun.com. It's 21 past 6. We're back with more News 12 this morning right after this.